Welcome to the Unit 1 Language Focus video on word families. While you've been learning about the principles of journalism, you may have noticed how some words have various forms. For example, journal, journalist, and journalistic. The word endings, also called derivational suffixes, change the part of speech, noun, adjective, verb, etc. While the root of the word, the letters all forms have in common, stays the same. So journal is another word for newspaper. A journalist is a person who produces news. And journalistic is an adjective describing the process of creating a news story. Words with the same root but with different word endings are all part of the same word family. In this video, we'll talk about word families words with the same root and different endings to form various parts of speech. We'll also talk about how the pronunciation may change within a word family. Let's take a look at another example. We've talked about how verification is important. Information must be collected from verified sources. That means the journalists must verify who the source is and what they're saying. In those three sentences, I used the root ver in three different forms. In English, the roots are borrowed from Latin. So ver, for example, means truth. Therefore, verification is the process of proving something is true. Verified is an adjective that describes something truthful. And finally, to verify is the verb form of the same root ver. It's the action verb of finding out if something's true. In thinking about word families, we often start with the root and then look for the part of speech depending on the word ending, the letters at the end of the word. For example, T-I-O-N in verification shows that this word is a noun. Other endings include I-T-Y, N-E-S-S, C-Y, and M-E-N-T. Govern is a verb meaning to manage or lead. When M-E-N-T is added to the word, it means the system or organization that manages or leads, a government. Let's take a look at the adjective word endings, A-L, E-D, A-B-L-E, E-N-T, and I-V-E. In our first example, verified can be used as an adjective. Now let's look at transparency and transparent. Words ending in CY tell us that this is a noun. Transparency is important because the reader needs to understand the journalist's process to trust their story. When we want to change the word form from a noun to an adjective, we take away the CY ending and replace it with T. Now I can say the journalist's process was transparent. One thing to consider when we change word form is that syllable stress can shift. For example, when a word ends in T-I-O-N, the stress falls on the syllable before that ending. Verify has three syllables, ver-i-fi. And the first syllable is the loudest one, verify. But when we turn it into a noun, there are now five syllables, verification. Because the word ends in T-I-O-N, we know which syllable will be stressed, the syllable before the ending. So the stress falls on K for verification. The stress changes because of the word ending. Verify, verification. This is also true for words that end in I-T-Y. Original has four syllables total. Original. It has second syllable stress. When we change this adjective to a noun using the word ending I-T-Y, we have originality. Originality has six syllables, originality. And the fourth syllable is stressed. The fourth syllable, A-L, is right before the word ending, I-T-Y. Let's look at one final example. Let's take the word objective. How many syllables does this word have? Objective, three. Can you hear which syllable is stressed? 
objective. It's the second syllable. Now let's change the word form using word ending ity. How many syllables does the word objectivity have? Objectivity, five. Which syllable has the stress? Objectivity. It's the third syllable. To summarize, the end part of the word, the derivational suffix, changes a word from one part of speech to another, but the root of the word stays the same. Also, word endings can change the syllable stress of the word. Think about these different forms of a word as you listen to the next video about more principles of journalism. And test your own knowledge of the word families in the following game.